Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a template that has links to an Excel document. So I've got a blank Word document on the screen. What I'm going to do is put some text in this and then get some data from Excel and link it and then save the whole thing as a template and then you can see how that works. So just to get some auto text on here, which I've got there, Let's say this is a management report that you're going to create and I want some data from Excel and I'll just go into Excel to get some data. So let's say I want this table of information. So I'll just highlight this. I don't want the title. I just want that bit. So I'll copy that. Coming back into Word. I don't want to just paste it because if I just paste it, that'll just be a dead link, a dead copy, not a link. What I want to do is use the paste special feature and paste link. Now that is coming in as a word table, but I want to go into Paste Special itself, tick this Paste Link option and have it as an Excel object. Then I'm clicking OK to that and then it drops it in there. Just press Enter to come down a couple of lines. Now I'm going to just prove that this works by deleting these figures in Excel. So the total changes. When I go back into Word, that has picked that up. So that's great. If I come back into Excel and just add some other figures in there so we get some data back. So that's a live link. It's picking it up. I also want to bring this little chart. Copy that. Control C. Copy. Come back into Word. Same thing. Paste. Special. Paste link and I'm picking the Excel object, but you've obviously got these other objects as well that you could use. Click OK to that. Comes in a bit big, so I need to just resize this a little bit. So that's how I want it to be. So now this is the links I want. I want this data and let's assume that this data, this spreadsheet updates all the time. What I want to do now is save this as a template in Word and then change some of the source data in Excel to see if this picks it up. So at the moment we're on 49368. So I want to save this as a template, so I'm going to File, Save As, and I'm going to just select Browse there, and select Template option from here, and it goes into the Templates location. If it doesn't click into the Templates folder, that's where it is, it's Custom Office Templates, and then I'll just call this my template, my template, and then save. Now, if I control W this window, close window, that means control W, that will go. Now, if I go file, new, under personal, it should have my template. There she blows. If I open that, it says this document has links. Do you want to update? Yes, I do. And it will pull in the new links so nothing's changed there so let's just try that again so if I do control W again to close that down don't save now if I go and change something in Excel so let's get rid of that so it's now 39,000 and come back into Word and let's try that again file new now it's in the recently used files there so I'll just go for that Yes, it's updating it, and then it should drop it in there, which it says 39. So if I go back into Excel, that's the same, 39, 1, 3, 4. So we know it works. So now what you can do is you can, this is coming in as document 3, look, so it's not coming up, it's not opening as a template, so you would just save this as normal. And every time you open the template, it will go and get the data that you've selected and if this is sort of like a summary spreadsheet, this is a total spreadsheet looking at other sheets, this will always be the information that's pushed through into Word. So for a management report, all you have to do is remember to go File New to open the template and not File Open. Because if you go File Open, you are then playing around with the original template file. You should only need to do that if you've made a mistake and some of this narrative is wrong or the link's not correct. Now in this document, document three, this is a copy of the template. So the template is the document that's linked, 
and the copy of that template is also linked. If I go into File, Info, this is where you'll see the links. Now, there's nothing there at the moment because I haven't saved this file. But if I just go back and just save this file, I'll just call it, I'll leave it as Document 3. Doc 3. Now, it's going into Documents, Save, Replace Existing. Yeah, there's already one there called Doc 3. I'm not bothered about that. No, I don't want to change anything to the template. And I'm going back into this, into Info, and then you get this coming up, Edit Links to Files. So in this, this is a copy, remember, of the template. So if I don't want this to constantly update, I would need to break these two links because, say, for example, these are sales figures and you quarterly sales figures. The, the template might be linking to the first quarter sales figures and now this might be the second quarter sales figures and you, you just want to change... You don't want it to update to the second quarter, say. You just want it to stay on the first quarter. So you'd have to, and this copy, you'd have to break the link. But on the template, the link would remain the same. So you do that in info. It's also quite often when you've got other linked files, if you get this coming up, um, this box coming up, it means it can't find the links. What you need to do is go into the info area and just check what it's looking at so that's giving you the, the location you can open the source change the source or break the link so i'm just going to break it yes yes i don't want that this particular copy document document three i don't want it linked to anything so I'll just go back this is now a standalone document i'll just save those changes no i don't want to save it to the template i just want to save it to this now, if I go back into charting and put some figures in there, so we've just got three, four, five up there, it hasn't brought it through into this copy. But if I run the template again, file new, while well, it's there, it has brought that through. So the template, template has still got the links. If I close that down, control W, don't save it. The, this one hasn't because it's, the links are being broken. So this is just a very quick video of how you can create a template with links, automatic links to Excel data. So hopefully it's been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.